This is a Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otieno. National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Ishungu and Minority Whip Junet Mohamed are among big names missing out from the MP's performance ranking. The ranking released on Sunday is the latest performance ratings by research firm InfoTrack Research and Consulting. Other vocal leaders missing out from the top performance list include Majority Whip Silvana Sosoro of South Mogirango, Deputy Majority Leader Owen Bayer of Kilifi North and PSC Commissioner Mishimboko of Likoni. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. A section of Azimio MPs have rallied behind Wiper leader Kalonzo Musioka to fly the coalition's flag in the 2027 battle with President William Ruto. Eight legislators drawn from ODM, Jubilee and Wiper on Saturday drummed up support for the former vice president, whom they termed the best bet to unseat Ruto. Speaking during a church service at Umoja 2 SDA church in Nairobi, Sambakasi East constituency, the lawmakers threw their weight behind Kalonzo as the opposition candidate in the next elections. As Brex Sulum Hamed slowly descended the steps at the Mombasa Law Courts on November 1st, his frail body had to be supported. It was hard to tell whether it was euphoria, relief, hope or a mixture of all that that seemed to give him a spring in his step. It was the end of his 10-year journey up and down those very steps, which he had come to be accustomed to. In his hand was a copy of a judgment by Judge Stephen Moregi Kibunja of the Environment and Land Court. President William Ruto yesterday hosted coast governors and elected leaders at State House Mombasa for a closed door meeting to discuss issues affecting the region. Speaking during the interdenominational Thanksgiving prayer at Mamangina Waterfront Park afterwards, Ruto said the coast leaders presented several issues that they want the Kenya Kwanza government to address. The meeting was attended by Governors Abdul Somad Nasir of Mombasa, Gideon Mungaro of Kilifi, and Dado Godana of Tana River. Sometime last week during a casual conversation with an acquaintance, the question of rehabilitation for persons with substance use disorders came up. I could tell that the individual was passionate that anyone who walks into a rehabilitation facility ought to come out changed, regardless of the type of condition that took them there in the first place. That got me thinking. First, no miracles happen in rehabilitation centers, and it is important for those who have their kin or loved ones in those facilities to understand as much. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.